Want to learn engineering and science? Well, you've tuned in to the right channel. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon and never miss an update from us. Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series on engineering drawing. Today, we're going to be talking about the involute of a regular pentagon. So let's see what the problem has in store for us. Here we go. Draw the involute of a regular pentagon with 20 mm sides for the following cases. Case number one, string length equal to pentagon's perimeter. Case two, string length more than the pentagon's perimeter. And case number three, string length less than the pentagon's perimeter. All right. So in this slide, what we'll do is we'll try to um, do this case string length is equal to the pentagon's perimeter. So first of all, what we need to do is to we need to make a pentagon, something of this sort. You know very well that a pentagon has an internal angle of 108 degrees. OK, let's say all the four, five corners, in fact, are represented by one, two, three, four, five. Now we have a string whose length is going to be equal to pentagon's perimeter. So how much is the perimeter? All these sides are 20 mm each. So there are five sides. Um, 20 into 5 is 100. Therefore, the perimeter is 100 millimeters. So what we'll do is we'll have a string or have the length of the string as 100 millimeters, one end of which is fixed at 5, while the other end is at a distance of um, 100 millimeters from this 0.5 on the pentagon. Okay, so that's the string length equivalent to the pentagon's perimeter. Now, guys, whenever we deal with problems based on involute, we either go for wounding or unwounding. Okay, in that process, we will be wounding a string whose length is 100 millimeters, that is equal to pentagon's perimeter. And when we do so, this corner number one is going to have an impression over the string somewhere here, approximately. This corner two is going to have an impression over here. And in that process, you will observe that this line or the string automatically gets divided into five equal parts. So our objective right now is to divide the string into five equal parts. And these are the steps randomly at any angle. This line has to be made, make uh, five arcs of equal radii. Fifth arc has to be joined with the end of this line and keep your chapters aligned along this line. Tighten the screw, bring it over to the fourth point, draw a line, keep on doing so. And finally, it gets divided into five equal parts. Let's say this is one, two, three, four, and that's it. Okay. Now we're going to be extending lines from one, two, three, four. Okay. Something like this. Let me show you exactly this way. Okay. Now don't get confused. Five and P are coinciding. Don't worry. So P five is equivalent to P that that's something that you can say. Okay. Now in order to make arcs, what we'll do is we'll take this one P as the radius and with one as the center, cut an arc. That's P one. Now with two P as the radius, two as the center, cut an arc. That's P two with 3p as the radius, 3 as the center, cut an arc, that's p3. Now with 4p as the radius, 4 as the center, cut an arc, that's p4. And you don't need to do anything for point p as it is coinciding with 5. And here at 5, you can have point p itself. And when you join all these fellows in proper sequence with the help of a smooth curve, this curve is popularly known as an involute. And here, what we've done is we've taken the string length equivalent to the pentagon's perimeter. Let's jump over to case two. String length is more than the pentagon's perimeter. So how much was the pentagon's perimeter? I suppose it was 100. And here the string length that we're going to take up is 108 millimeters. So obviously it is more than 100 millimeters. So let's have a pentagon, five sides, one, two, three, four, five. Let's have a string over here whose one end is attached at five. Okay, now right now we are going to assume the string length as 100 millimeters only and then we are going to extend it. Okay, just just wait, wait and watch it's going to happen. Right, this is 100 and let's divide this into five equal parts. The procedure remaining same. One, two, three, four, five. And from here we need to travel more by an amount of eight millimeters. And on doing so, this is the other end of the string represented by point P. That's it. This is 108. Okay, so that's the length of the string. That's the length of the perimeter or the perimeter you can say. Anyway, so we need to have lines from all these points. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Now with one P as the radius, with one as the center, cut an arc, that's P1. With two P as the radius, two as the center, cut an arc, that's P2. Three P as the radius, three as the center, cut an arc, that's P3. With four P as the radius, four as the center, cut an arc, that's P4. And with 
5 p as the heat radius with 5 as the center cut and arc that's um, p5 and then finally this is the extra portion of the string okay and it's gonna when you further wound this it is gonna end up somewhere here and that's gonna be this distance and this distance over here is gonna be same that's point p finally and when you join all of these points that's exactly what you're gonna have an involute right so this was the case when string length was more than the pentagon's perimeter let's uh, jump jump over to case number three string length less than the pentagon's perimeter and in this case it's 8 mm less that is 92 millimeters so let's go ahead and do this again the same stuff five points and let's have a uh, string over here right now we are going to assume it as 100 millimeters okay this way let's divide this into five equal parts same stuff and now we'll have point p somewhere here in the previous case you saw point p was towards the right of five since the string length was more but here the string length is less therefore you're going to have point p eight millimeters towards the left of point p point five in fact and this is eight millimeters less and that's 92 100 minus eight is obviously 92. now the stuff is pretty much same let's have lines from all these corners and with one p as the radius one is the center cut an arc that's p1 do the same stuff with 2p as the radius 2 as the center cut an arc that's p2 with 3p as the radius 3 as the center cut an arc that's p3 with 4p as the radius 4 as the center cut an arc that's um, p4 and it is finally going to end up somewhere here this distance and this distance is going to be same that's p when you join all of them that's exactly what you're going to have so that's the involute of a regular pentagon whose uh, string length is less than the pentagon's perimeter so guys that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification you get an update and do tell your friends about this channel so that they can also benefit Anyways, I'm going to be back with more such videos on drawing and mechanics. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care. Have a great day. Keep drawing. Keep learning.